All right, YouTube. Um, this is part four of the EDM kind of like kick drum tutorial. Is you know the one that I'm actually creating right now is kind of more kind of for I don't know clubbier kind of stuff like big room house or just trance that kind of kick that really is powerful and boomy and punch like punches right through the mix. And so in our little visual feedback thing right here with our vengeance kick, we can see we're getting pretty close there, you know, it's uh I kind of like the more squarish waves when it gets compressed, they have the more uh triangular triangular ones. It doesn't really matter too much. It's just uh it's about how um how you like the different color of them. So now we have all of our chains and they're all going to this um, spectrum and limiter right now, but there's a lot more uh, goodies that we can use to glue them together. So, of course, could use another saturator. That's a fair way to do it with a little hard clip. See what you can hear? That's really, really touchy. So, before. Without, um, this would be another time where I would uh, use another plugin. Um, for those who have it, uh, Isotope Alloy is amazing for doing this kind of stuff. I'll just, um, I mean, they have a couple presets for individual drums, not these mixed in ones. And so you could say, you know, thick kick. Let's see what that sounds like. So I would have to take off the saturator. Yeah, never mind. That's no good. I'm actually gonna go get the clean one. Default. All right. So fuck the EQ. Get the side. Then we get the limiter down. The exciter is what I really love about this. Just throw out the dry. You find some interesting sounds in there and just turn the mix down. And then let's see, maybe the punch will have it. Yeah. So that's very thunderous. Right, and so now we get before and after. So that's really pumping it up. But for those who don't have it, uh, I'm a huge fan of Isotope. Go for it if you if you have the loose morals or the wallet to do so. Um, let's see what else could we use on here? Because there's many what directions you can go with this now. You can. Uh, uh, you could take the EQ8 and kind of really like, you know, mellow it down. Like completely cut the high. These are all just ideas to get it. But um, for me, that would probably be, let's get the resample. So now you can see it's really starting to resemble this guy up here. Um, got a second one, yeah. You can really see what they're what they're doing with uh, vengeance over those clever clever dudes make great stuff. Um, and also, if you just want to layer samples like kick samples with your kick to give it more, um, that's of of course a great sample bank to start with the layer, but. Now comes the, the part that makes it all interesting with, uh, with tuning it. So now that we have it tuned, we can literally play, so maybe our songs in F minor, we go down to we go down to F, or, you know, what, what is that, B2? Actually, this uh, snare is killing me, man. I'm not digging it anymore. 
Yeah, he's gonna, I'm gonna totally kill the decay. Yeah, and so you can also do kind of like those, uh, you could get almost the, uh, just drag out the decay and you can get, let's see. Yeah, the, the overdrive's kind of killing it there, but if you uh, change the drive, you can get an uh, 808 kind of tail. And so the nice thing about live and the groups is you can just really like make it your own with the macros. Like for like I said in one of the previous ones, uh, in my main uh, kick over here, the drive is I'm gonna say map to one. And so whoop. yeah, so take note that's at 7.43 because it's gonna reset it. So 7.43 is where we want it at. Um, is it 7.43? Whatever, it's close enough. And then, so you have the drive knob there, so you can really uh, get a handle on um, how much like hard style goes into it. Um, another good macro that I like is the release. So. Uh, the release here that's 750 make note um i always like doing those on three so i'm gonna say 750 here or you could just go kind of deal um all right so that's the process of how i uh make my kick drums and um the real power in it is your ability to tune it so i mean rather than like having, oh, we got a vengeance sample here. We have no idea what key that thing is tuned to. So, but with ours, we know exactly what key it is. We know it's C1 is is gonna be, you know, the that's the root. That's what C is here, that's C1. And so if um, our song was like in G or F um, minors, you know, you if it was in G, you could put uh, just put your four four rhythm in MIDI on G, and it's gonna play a tune kick in G. And like people have ranging opinions on whether tuning your kick matters, and um, I believe it does. It kicks. I mean, it's like an, any instrument. You know, you wouldn't want like a trumpet playing out of key in your production or something like that. You you want all your instruments to be cohesive together, and. This is my process of how to do it, and I just got a couple loops right here just to give you an idea of what it'll sound like, you know. Because a lot of the distortion and stuff that you add in there kind of gets masked when you um, play it over with some, yeah, other instruments, so, rather than just like this. So, now you can see kind of the usefulness of it, or like the real, <laughs> application of it so this is my process feel free to share the video as much as you want um and subscribe if you found it useful and i'll post more in the future also check out my music stereo surgeon and have a good one y'all uh, use and enjoy